Make history. I'm putting up $5,000 that says I know more than you. So if you're smart enough, fast enough, and if you've got the guts, you can win Ben Stein's money. Come gather around, people, wherever you roam, and admit that the waters around you have grown. And also admit that I'm putting $5,000 of my money in and giving these three totally strange strange attempts to live all the right place, if they're mentally able. And now, before we go any further, let's turn to the Mickey to my mini. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The mini to my Mickey, the one and only Jimmy Kimmel, and find out more about these people. I'm not going to take this abuse much longer. All right. Uh, today, all of our contestants are here from The Daily Show. Yay, The Daily Show. Uh, program that precedes ours on Comedy Central. You may have seen it. And Louis Black is our first contestant. Hello, Louis. Hello. How are you? Uh, mm -hmm. Delightful. Welcome to the program. Is this your first game show? First game show ever in my whole life. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. Except for what? No, no. I was trying to come up with a joke and I missed it. All right. Well, Louis <laughs> is from the same place in Maryland that I am from. Oh, yeah. yeah. That sends a wave of electricity all through America. Well, it does. It's Silver Spring, the center of the universe. That's very nice. Well, maybe you two can spend a little time together after the program, but <laughs> please, not now. Uh, Beth Littleford Hello, is Jimmy. our second contestant. Hello, Beth. And uh, I got I'm sorry, guys, but I got to say, Beth is my favorite on The Daily Show. She is? Yay, well, because Beth. Because I'm the chick? Yay, Beth. Because I'm the chick. <laughs> no, not because you're a chick. I like when you uh, make brutal fun of the celebrities. Okay, I, I, like I that enjoy that. Okay. And uh, Beth, uh, what, you're marrying uh, some guy who works for The Daily Show? I'm marrying the Present producer. Who's oh, that? Mr. Rob Fox is his name. Rob Ooh, Fox. Well, he's a lucky man to marry a Thank fox you. like you. Well, yay for you for that one. That was a fun time. <laughs> That's how I got on the show, too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Steve Colbert is here as well. And um, Sorry, Beth. No, I was on the show, just so you know. Oh, you're Everyone needs to know that I met <laughs> right. my fiance on the and show. And Steve, are you sleeping with any of the Daily Show brass? Uh, just Craig. Just crack, yeah. I want that too, though. That's so where is Kilborn tonight? Pretty boy class or something? He couldn't yeah, show I think up? so. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Steve, are you enjoying being on the program so far? Very much so. So we had a great conversation with Ben earlier. Yeah, you're not from any of his various hometowns, are no. you? No, well, we haven't decided that. Where, where? My where? sister's from Silver Spring. You're kidding? No. There his you go. sister is from Silver Spring. <laughs> well, it's, it's like family reunion night here at the Ben Stein show. All right, contestants, good luck. You're going to need it. I'm not kidding. Oh, Everyone, please turn your attention to our game board as Jimmy tells us our first five topics. And by the way, whichever of you doesn't win is getting fired from The Daily Show. No. Well, the stakes well, a lot have of us aren't going to win. I mean, if not I know, that's right. <laughs> All right. Our uh, first five categories are, if I show you my zucchini, will it make you feel gourd? <laughs> New York City, City, bang, bang. <laughs> With this cannoli, I be wed. <laughs> Wild West nicknames other than Stinky. <laughs> and why don't you just gram it, Senator? <laughs> okay, contestants, in the first round, questions are worth anywhere from $50 to $150 of my money. Every time you manage to answer a question correctly, you win money and I lose it. We're going to start with you, Beth. And by the way, I was kidding. You don't really get fired from The Daily That's Show. That's good news. You can't get fired from The it. Daily Show unless you question people's sexuality or are questioned about it. Okay. <laughs> now, Beth, work. please pick a topic. Yeah, I'm going with, if I show you my zucchini, will it make you feel gourd? Hundred dollar question. The gourd called acorn squash belongs to what seasonal group of squash varieties that may be stored for months at a time? <phone rings> Lewis? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> it's just, he, judges, he judges, judges earlier, is that right? So he needs to practice. Uh, Steve. Uh, summer squash, man. No, it is not right, sorry. All right. No, it is winter squash. Oh, close. Oh. 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 All right, so it's right you got that one At right. At least this I was one. honest. <laughs> <laughs> thought I knew. <laughs> $50 follow-up, or toss-up. What variety of winter squash is named for the type of pasta that its flesh resembles after baking? Spaghetti squash. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you guys are funny. They all, they, they've all inherited money, so it doesn't matter. Our uh, next category is to know, know, know her is to rub, rub, rubber. And uh, Beth, you get to pick again. I'll try New York City, City, Bang, Bang. Okay. 
Hundred dollar question. New York City created the first police department in the US using what European city's Metropolitan Police Department as a model? Beth? I'm guessing London. Yes, indeed. Hey. Jeff, go sign your board. Jeff, still about the summer Not summer. just another pretty face. Not just another pretty face. You fifty dollar follow up because you got that one right. Used in police departments around the world. What does the Henry system classify into arches, loops, and whorls? You don't have to ring in. You just, just say. Oh, it's mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. here I am madly trying to get in. Um, I'm uh, fi fingerprints. Yes, indeed. There yes, indeed. Go. All right. Now, that took an unusually long time. So before I lose, <laughs> before I lose any more cash, it's time to take a break. We'll be back to see how much more money these very funny people can take away from me right after this. with more of Win My, Ben Stein's money. Right now, Beth is in the lead with $150 of my money, and I am actually hoarse from laughing at a joke that Steve said at the intermission. I said, Beth said to me, I want to make it clear that I did not sleep my way into my job on The Daily Show. I, <laughs> I said that was extremely clear, and, and Steve said, yes, you have to sleep your way to get out of The Daily Show. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, what's our new category? And of course, they're all here from The Daily Show, which yeah. is why so, we mentioned it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> our new category is Olympic events you can play in the basement. And uh, Beth, you had the last correct answer. In fact, you had the only correct answer, so you get to pick first. I'm going to go, to know, no, know her is to rub, rub, rubber. Hundred dollar question, what innovator and president of his own rubber company had his tires chosen by Henry Ford for the first mass-produced cars in America. Steve. Firestone? Yes, indeed. Very good. I was going there. I was going there. $50 follow-up, Steve. What tire company founded by Shojiro Ishibashi purchased Firestone in 1988? Bridgestone. Yes, indeed. And he is red hot. This man is red hot. Stone very good, Steve. Very good. Come on for Silver Spring. Our Bridge next work. category is Come On Baby, Make It Hurts So Good. And Steve, you get the pick. I'll go with uh, with this can only I be wed, Jim. <laughs> $150 question. What audience interactive play about an Italian wedding is the third longest running off-Broadway show of all time? Steve. Uh, Tony and Tina's Wedding. Yes, indeed. And this man can $50 follow-up. $50 follow-up. In legal terms, what kind of marriage exists when two unwed people cohabit for an extended period with the intention of being husband and wife? Common law. Very good, very good. That's six feet more. We have less than two minutes left in the round, and our new category is Save the Last Trance for Me. And Steve, you get the pick. Uh, I'll go with Save the Last Trance for Me. Okay, $50 question. From a French word meaning to sit, what term is given to a meeting of people who attempt to communicate with disembodied spirits? Steve. Seance. Seance, indeed. Hello. Hello. $50 follow-up. $50 follow-up. What word describes purported communication by a spirit guide through a living person during a trance-like state? Channeling. Yes, indeed. And this man is a Lewis having a little trouble, trouble with the buzzer there? Just a we touch. Just, you know. yeah. This isn't working. This Press isn't working. The object. Our next category is European hookers turn metrics. And <laughs> Steve, you get to pick again. Uh, how about Olympic events you can play in the basement? Okay. $100 question. What Olympic event is played by either two or four people on a raised surface measuring five feet by nine feet? Moron. Okay, $50, $50 toss up since none of you guys and gals got that. To a table tennis player, what are shake hands and pen holder types of? Steve. Uh, grips. Yes, grips. Grips. <laughs> All right. Oh. And that is the end of the first round. Steve, ecstatic. He's got $500 of Ben's money. Beth, oh. you're in second place with $150 of Ben's. And Lewis, you're going to be the laughing stock of the office. No, I won't. You no, because there will be an investigation of this show. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lewis, what we do. Oh, it's I will tell you that I am going to try to uphold the honor of Silver Spring, Maryland. Please do.
<laughs> but you have only taken zero dollars from me, and that means we have to say goodbye. And you, back to The Daily Show to do your fine work. Well, actually, I actually uh, threw the match because I have an audition. Okay, well, good. <laughs> and this, when we come back, these two survivors, Beth and Steve, are going to try to get deeper into my wallet. And I'm going to defend my money by actually becoming a contestant. Stay tuned, it's going to be violent. Stop talking. All right, these two are talking. Oh, they're going to have to be punished then. Uh, your punishment will be very strict. Very strict. Welcome back as this round begins. Stop it. I'm frightened. As this round begins, Steve has $500 of my money. Beth, who was talking, has $150 of my money. And I have only $4,350 remaining of my original $5,000 take which I will now defend by becoming a common contestant. All right, this is the part of the show where we tell everybody that Ben does not get the answers to the questions ahead of time, and is that not correct? It is exactly correct, although it's not ethically correct. It happens to be factual, and it's also factual that questions in this round have <clears throat> brutally risen to the range of $200 to $500 of my money, or what I imagine you guys get paid in a couple of months. That's if you get them right. If I get them right... My total stays the same, but thankfully, none of my money is taken away. Shut Wait a minute, up, what was that? <laughs> that was one of your fans, Beth. And whichever of our guests from The Daily Show has the highest score at the end of this round, whether it be Beth Litterford or uh, Steve Colbert, it's nice having, like, guests from other shows. It's kind of like when, like... Uh, Family. Yeah, no, it's like when Laverne and Shirley would come on Happy Days. Yeah, yeah. Was I, I was like that. Yeah, right. hey, hey. And plus, you don't have to talk to regular people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, go on to play against Ben one-on-one -on -one for $5,000. The regular people didn't like that one so much. Let's check out our topics. They are Scottish Isles so straight-laced there isn't a tartan sight. <laughs> Bolivia Newton-John. <laughs> Books only Ben Stein would read. <laughs> I came home trunk at three in the morning. <laughs> And euphemisms for the sultry zone we can say on TV. All right, Ben, it's your money you get to pick I'll first. I'll try books only Ben Stein would read. I would Christ. figure you would. For $400, what is the title of former Vice President Dan Quayle's 1994 autobiography? Ben. Dashiki the Fool. <laughs> no. no, that was the second book. You guys don't know this one? I feel like I do. I don't think even Dan knows. It's standing firm. Oh, I don't oh. know. Thinking soft. Our next okay. category is Fatima, Fatima 2x4 can't fit through the temple door. <laughs> ben. I'll try that one. All right. $400. Oh. Name the husband of Fatima, regarded by Shiite Muslims as the only legitimate successor to the Prophet Muhammad. Steve? Ali. That's the guy. Oh, yeah. a pretty safe bet when you're yes. in the Muslim yes, waters, indeed. you know? Our next category is Doctor, it hurts when my spectrum expands. <laughs> Steve, you get the truth. Um, let's try Bolivia Newton-John. All right, for $300, Ooh. in 1985, Bolivia experienced an international financial crisis revolving around its primary metallic resource. What metal was it? Ben? Tin. Tin is right. The great tin is Less than a minute left in the round. Our next category is playing with your organ can be a grind. <laughs> ben gets a pick again. I'll try, I'll try uh, Scottish Isles, so straight laced there isn't a tartan in sight. Okay, for $300, also called the Western Islands, what islands off of Scotland are divided into inner and outer groups? Steve? The Hebrides. That's right, Steve. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that sound means this round is over. And, uh, Steve, congratulations. You've got $1,200 of Ben Stein's money. Thank you. Well, maybe Beth isn't leaving. That means we got to say goodbye to Beth. You've been a worthy competitor, Beth, but you are history. Yeah, yeah. And since you're leaving, I get to take your $150 and add it back to my total. 
And now we come back. This surprisingly well-informed young man, Steve, is going to go up against a knee. We're going to see how he matches up when the big money is on the line. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss it. Congratulations, fellow Comedy Central Minion Steve. Thank you, Ben. So far, you've taken $1,200 away from me, and that's yours to keep no matter what happens. But now you have a chance, albeit a small one, to walk out of here with all $5,000 of my cash. It's Jimmy, it's like we all know. And all you have to do is beat me what we call the best of 10 best of knowledge. And what is this? It's a parade, is what it is. Mm, what kind of a parade? A parade of moral support for our colleagues, Stephen Clark. Moral support? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Moral, ben. moral support. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ben, are, are you That's prepared to take on all three of these? Yes, will you explain to them, please, how the game works, please? Yes. I mean. Smoochie the goose, I will. I'm going to ask Ben and Steve the same ten questions. Steve, if you guys have more of them than Ben, his $5,000 goes home with you. You can go first or second. First, please. Oh. Very good, Steve. All right, Ben to that boot. Steve to that boot. Thank you. You just hang out right here. If you want to yell out answers, whatever, feel free to. You know, Ben doesn't care. Ben is locked up in a soundproof isolation booth. Steve? Yes. Ben's locked up, all right? Dog. All right. If you want to take his car or anything, feel free. All right, Steve, 60 seconds, 10 questions. Are you ready? Yes, I am, Jimmy. Let's begin. In the late 1940s, what woman acted as Argentina's de facto Minister of Health and Labor? Eva Perón. Yes. What feast is celebrated at the beginning of Passover? Pass. What two months of the year were named for Roman emperors? August and July. Yes. What famous French woman author wrote the book Gigi? Pass. In 1966, Richard Speck murdered eight women students in Chicago in what profession? Nurses. Yes. What U.S. president declined to run for re-election in 1928? Hoover. No. What canine breed is named for the Welsh word meaning dwarf dog? Dachshund. No. Winnipeg is the capital and largest city of what Canadian province? Ontario. No. What is the more common one-word name for Beethoven's Third Symphony? Ode to Joy. No. What term describes the subsurface seaward pull of receding waves after they break on the shore? Undertow. Undertow is right. You got four right. The one you met. Seder. Aleppo, Gigi. Calvin Coolidge, the final run for president. Corgi is the dwarf dog. Manitoba is the uh, province we're looking for in Eroica, I believe, is Beethoven's Third Symphony. Now let's see what... Who the hell knows this crap? I don't know. <laughs> All right, Ben. I hope you know this crap. I hope I do too. You gotta beat the number four. Okay, because you have not have them there staring at me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and they are there staring. I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do about uh, it, Ben. Ben, you have 60 seconds, 10 questions. Feel the stare, Ben Stein, and let's begin. In the late 1940s, what woman acted as Argentina's de facto Minister of Health and Labor? Uh, Peron. Yes, what feast is celebrated at the beginning of Passover? Uh, the night before Passover, I mean, the Seder. Yes. What two months of the year were named for Roman emperors? August and uh, October. No. What famous famous French woman author wrote the book Gigi? Oh, uh, I don't know. In 1966, Richard Speck murdered eight women students in Chicago in what profession? Nurses. Yes. What U.S. president declined to run for re-election in 1928? Uh, 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 Coolidge. Yes. What canine breed is named for the Welsh word meaning dwarf dog? Oh, I don't know. Winnipeg is the capital and largest city of what Canadian province? Manitoba. Yes. What is the more common one-word name for Beethoven's Third Symphony? Uh, the Eroica. Yes. What term describes the subsurface seaward pull of receding waves after they break on the shore? The tidal current. No, it's uh, undertow is what uh, I look for, but it doesn't matter. You got six. Come on out of the booth, Ben. Steve, come on out of the booth. Uh, Guess what the smartest show on Comedy Central is. Now, wait a second. I would have done a lot better if I didn't have these two staring oh, at me. Oh, you big baby. Oh, I can't believe that. From now on, I want to stare at you guys when you're doing your show. See how you do. All Steve, right. you played a beautiful game. So did you, Ben. Excellently played. And I'm going to leave you to get my $5,000. i am humbled you're going to be walking out of here with $1,200. It could be any of you, and therefore I challenge all of you out there to write, call, or email to futility.com in the hope, infinite decimals it might be, that on some distant planet, on some distant day, with your friends staring at me and giving me the evil eye, you might win Ben, ben Stein's, Stein's money. money. money.
21 reasons to watch World Series of Blackjack. World Series of Blackjack, Friday at 10 on GSN. The foreplay is over. I'm not afraid of any of the players. The final game is about to begin. When it comes down to it, a man is going to beat a woman in the end. Who's better at poker, men or women? Find out on the two-hour season finale of Poker Royale Battle of the Sexes. Poker Royale Battle of the Sexes, Friday at 9 on GSN. GSN.